Hey guys, John Bergsman here. Hey, we got an awesome report for you today coming to you from a destination, a spot I've been going for the last 30 years with my two older boys, and it's Lake of the Woods, Minnesota. So sit back and enjoy this awesome report of a place you may have ever never been, but if you're an ice fishing aficionado, you are gonna wanna pay attention because Lake of the Woods, Minnesota offers some of the best early and late season ice fishing anywhere in the United States. So guys, Lake of the Woods, Minnesota out of Budette has been just a place that I've been going since 1992. Every single year, either early, which is right now around the Christmas time of the year or first week of January, or I've been going late, which is any time in March. Um, it's got fantastic fishing. As I talk and you see these fish go across the screen, understand that, that these fish are just from last week. I mean, it's not, it's not all made up conglomerative stuff. These people are catching fish big time up there right now. Now, the, to give you the setting, Badette, Minnesota sits right where the Rainy River dumps into Four Mile Bay, which opens up into the major area of Lake of the Woods, Minnesota. Uh, and Lake of the Woods, as you all know, is one of the most prolific walleye fisheries in America. Uh, and what happens is those fish, they are in the river in the winter, in the, in the late fall and early winter, and then as ice forms, they flush out into the lake and mill around following the schools of lake shiners. Uh, the guys who own the resorts all through the Lake of the Woods Tourist Association have been doing this for 50 years, and that is plowing roads right out on the ice with F-250s and 350s. I mean, these guys have got, you know, guts beyond belief. They'll plow 20 miles out if they have to to get the people on the fish. And as they plow these roads, they set rows up of heated ice houses that you rent. So you go up there, you rent a resort cabin from one of the participating resorts, and then you also rent an on-ice heated shanty. And it's usually a four-hole shanty that'll hold four guys. It's heated. Um, they've got bait right there at all the res each of the resorts. All you really have to do is get your body up there uh, to participate. A lot of the resorts have packages where you buy an ice house and a, and a cabin. Uh, and so you just load you know, three, four guys up in your suburban or pickup truck and head on up there for three or four days. It's awesome fun. Regulations up there are really simple. Um, four walleye a day and four sauger a day. You have two different species, you could catch four of each. Um, uh, and also the fishing is so simple. It's straight down the hole, jigs, jigging spoons with minnow heads or full minnows. Uh, and the walleye and the sauger, the cool thing about it is they don't have a size restriction for the low side. So if you catch those really cool 13 and 14 inches that in Michigan you gotta throw back, not so at Lake of the Woods, you can keep those fish. Um, and they have a slot size that stops at 19 and a half inches, so that basically means that the bigger fish, you catch them and you have to release them back. But there's plenty of eater size slot fish to keep you busy and to fill your bucket up throughout the day. Most of the resorts have very fun restaurants and lounges and, and bar areas. They can cook your catch on site. They can, you can clean your fish. Every resort I know has got their own heated fish cleaning facilities. So it's very, really cool to be able to get up there and get your catch off the ice. You can go in, you can clean it up. Uh, you can go have a drink and dinner and uh, just hang around. And that seems to be just what most of the people do. It's just a really cool getaway for a lot of the people uh, that go up there. Um, to, uh, you know, just to get away from society. When you're at Lake of the Woods, Minnesota, you're looking straight across the Rainy River at Canada. And I mean, the Canadian side of that is absolutely nothing. I mean, there's nothing but, you know, cedar trees and more water. So it's very fun experience. Now, so right now is great. All winter long can be great, but if you want big fish fishing late in the year and you're wanting to plan something, get on the Lake of the Woods, Minnesota, or it's lakeofthewoods.mn. So lakeofthewoods.mn, M as in Mary, N as in Nancy, MN for Minnesota. Get on that website and plan a late season trip. Some of the best fish, ice fishing I've ever had has been in the month of March. The second half of March specifically is ridiculously good. And you got all those big fish in Lake of the Woods that are headed back to the current areas. So the Rainy River has got current going under the ice. They're gonna migrate back there to stage up 
for the spawn and for the run up the Rainy River in the spring. And what you get is a real high concentration of some really, really giant sized fish. So it's a ton of fun. So Lake of the Woods, Minnesota as a destination, give, uh, get on their website, pick out the resort you wanna go to, get yourself a package and head on up there. It's awesome fun. Hey, newly introduced here at Trax Tech for uh, 2020. This is, uh, this is a cradle, uh, hybrid cradle series that we came out with. And we have a squeeze button design on here we've had for years on one of our tube style holders. And this all used to be molded plastic. Now we've gone to an all aluminum base on here, real durable molded on the top. Got a super easy squeeze button adjustability on the side right here, one handed. So that's new to show you. And then the other really cool feature we put into this was a rack and pinion system. So it has a lever on the back side here that we can push and snap in and extend or bring our cradle back toward us inside the boat if we need to get at it. So this is our HBCS-200 hybrid cradle. So hey, thanks for joining us this week. Uh, we'll have more reports week in and week out. One of the things we wanted to let you know is Lakeside Marine is gonna be at the major sports show there in the Novi area coming on January 12th through 15th. They're gonna be there with a whole bunch of fishing boats so that you can get all geeked up for that. If you're looking for a great showroom environment to just come and kill a half a day to see what you might wanna be in, whether you're in the mood for a pontoon boat, a fishing boat, a run -a boat, a wakeboard boat, Lakeside's got all of it in this monstrous showroom. I mean, I'm in one piece of the showroom. There's a whole nother showroom that you can't see behind me with all kinds of pontoons in stock. They've got a Skeeter WX2200 here in the showroom. That's a very hard to find boat. Of course, they get this Manitou, which has an engine that lays under the deck that is totally revolutionary. That's gonna make your rear deck space for pontooners totally utilizable and way, way more fun. But I'll tell you what, if you're looking for something fun to do, get out ice fishing. If you're looking to get a new boat, get on over here to Lakeside Marine and Power Sports in Macosta and pick out your new boat for 2023. That's the best way to be sure that you get the boat you want, the color you want, at a price that you can handle right here at Lakeside.